Hello and welcome to Yoga Flow with Monica. I am Monica and today I have a quick full body fix. So we're gonna start in seated position. Just find your comfortable position. You can sit on a cross-legged position or kneel it on your heels. Close the eyes, relax your shoulders. You can always bring the shoulders up, back and down and start breathing through the nose. Deep inhale through the nose, full exhale through the nose. Couple more times. Try to relax your arms, your neck, facial muscles. Two deep inhales and exhales here. One more. And we're gonna start. We're gonna come into all fours, cat cow. So when you're ready, just transfer yourself onto all fours. Bring the palms wide, so spreading the fingers as wide as possible. Belly is neutral, abdominals a little bit engaged. We're gonna go through free cat and cow. So when you're ready, inhale, start arching the back, bringing shoulder blades together, shoulders away from the ears, maybe looking up. Exhaling, rounding the back, trying to round as much as you can, really lifting your back towards the ceiling or the sky. Inhale, again, arch the back, feel the chest opening. Exhale, round the back. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Come back to neutral, tuck the toes, and we're going to lift into first downward dog. So for the first one, I always suggest to have the knees quite bent, okay? So first we concentrating on really stretching the uh, our backs out. Keep breathing, reaching that tailbone towards the ceiling, really lifting. Chest comes a little bit closer towards your knees. Neck is neutral. One more breath. Look to the front of the mat and step both legs in between the palms. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, release the palms down and release the head down. With the next inhale, raise your arms up and over, head, palms together. Exhale, Samastiti. Observe how you feel, shoulders relaxed. Excellent, we're gonna go through a sun salutation A flow. So when you're ready, inhale, raise the arms up and over. Exhale, dive forward and down, releasing the crown of the head down. Inhale, we lift halfway up, legs are relatively straight. Exhale, palms to the floor and step one leg, then another plank pose. Stay here for one deep inhale and exhale. You can always release the knees down if you wish. Then we're going to start bending into the elbows, elbows grazing the ribs. Try to go slowly, release it down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, mini cobra. Exhale down, tuck the toes. Push yourself away from the floor and lift up into downward dog. One breath here. Then look to the front of the mat and again step both feet in between the palms. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, releasing down. Inhaling, lift yourself up. Arms up and overhead, palms together, slowly releasing in front of the heart and relax here. We're gonna go through another flow. When you're ready, inhale, arms up and over. Exhale, down. Slowly releasing down into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Spine and neck is straight, trying to be parallel to the floor. Exhale, palms to the floor, stepping both legs to the back. And then again, bending into the elbows, knees down or not, and slowly releasing down all the way to the floor. Untucking the toes, 
Inhaling, lifting yourself up into cobra. Remember, shoulders away from the ears. Shoulder blades together. Elbows tuck to your body. Exhale down. Tuck your toes. Push yourself away. Downward dog. Inhale. And exhale. Looking to the front of the mat. Step the right leg in between the palms. Release the left knee to the floor. Inhaling, lifting up into low lunge, making sure that that lower spine is not overarching. Shoulders relaxed. One more breath here. Then bring the palms together in front of the heart. Twist towards the left side and hook that left elbow across the right leg. And stay here. Deep inhales and exhales. Trying to bring that, uh, those palms to the middle of the heart. One more breath, keep breathing. Look down to the floor, release both palms to the floor, tuck the back leg, bring the front leg to the back, downward dog. Again, really lifting through the tailbone, trying to lengthen the spine, opening the chest and shoulder area. The knees can be gently bent. Don't worry about straightening them straight. With the next inhale, look to the front and step the left leg in between the palms. Right knee releases. Slowly lifting yourself up into low lunge on the left side. Shoulders relax. One deep inhale before bringing the palms together in front of the heart. Then slowly bring the palms together. This time twist towards the left side and hook the right uh, elbow across the left uh, leg and we're trying to open up keep breathing shoulders away from the ears one more breath here then look to the front release both palms to the front of the mat tuck the toes and then bring the front leg to the back again downward dog Two more breaths here. One more. Look to the front and walk, step or jump your legs in between the palms. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, releasing down. Inhale, raise your arms up and overhead, palms together. Release here for a second. Samastiti, making sure you're not sticking the bum out or the belly forward. Spine is neutral. With the next inhale, we're gonna go through Sun Salutation B. So start bending into the knees, bringing the arms in line with the ears, coming into chair pose, making sure that the uh, bum is not sticking out. So try to tuck the belly in. Chair pose, inhale and exhale. Then bring the palms together in front of the heart. And then we're gonna twist towards the left side again, maybe tilt forward a little bit more and hook that left elbow across the right knee. Coming into twisted chair pose, making sure that left knee is not going forward. So knees in line. One more breath. Then slowly coming back to the chair again. If you want, you can straighten the legs for a second. Then again, bend them, bring the palms together in front of the heart, lean forward maybe a little bit, and then twist towards the left side. Inhale and exhale. Making sure this time the right knee is not going forward, so they are in line. One more breath. Then look down to the floor, release both palms to the floor, and straighten the legs out. Relax in the forward fold, just for one more breath. Then lift yourself up with the next inhale. Exhale, release it down. Step both legs to the back of the mat, plank pose. One breath here. Start shifting yourself a tiny bit forward, bending into the elbows, slowly releasing down, working with your strength. 
Inhaling, lifting into Cobra. Exhaling down, tuck the toes, push yourself away from the floor and lift up, downward dog. Inhaling and exhaling, one more. With the next inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg up and then start bending into the knee, bringing the knee towards the ceiling or the sky and the heel towards the left glute, opening the hip. But try to keep the shoulders in line. So we're not opening all the body, we're just trying to open the hip. One more breath here. Slowly straighten that right leg out. Start bending into the knee, bringing the knee forward towards the chest, pausing for a second. And then stepping the leg through. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight, 45 degrees angle. We're gonna lift up into warrior one. Keep breathing, back leg is straight. Front leg is bent, trying to track that middle toes. Last breath. With an exhale, slowly releasing down to the floor, bringing the front leg to the back. You can go straight into downward dog if you wish or bend into the elbows, release it down to the floor, untuck the toes, come maybe in a little bit higher cobra, just making sure you're not collapsing into those shoulders. Exhale down, tuck the toes, push yourself away and up into downward dog. Two more breaths here before hip opening on the left side. One more. Really still lengthening. Remember, be mindful in the poses, even the ones you know by heart already. With the next inhale, lift the left leg up. Start bending into the knee. Knee is reaching towards the ceiling or the sky. The left heel coming closer to the right glute. One more breath here. Extend the leg, start looking forward. Again, bending the knee, bringing the knee towards the chest. Pausing for a second, working on our abdominal and shoulder strength. And then stepping that leg through. Front leg is bent, back foot is 45 degrees angle. And back leg is straight, arms up, warrior one. Keep breathing. One more breath here. Remember that knee is not falling in or out. The bent knee is tracking the middle toes, shoulders relaxed, and then slowly releasing down. Bring the front leg to the back, your choice. Going down to the mat or not. If you're going down, come into Cobra, open the chest. Exhale down, tuck the toes, push yourself away from the floor and lift into downward dog. Inhale, exhale, one more breath here in Downward Dog. Observe how your legs feel, maybe they're a little bit straighter. And remember, your legs are hip distance apart. So not two together, not two apart. Same palms, palms are more or less shoulder distance apart. Looking to the front, jump, walk or step. Bow feet in between the palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down, start bending into the knees, lifting up, chair pose. Exhale, bring the palms together in front of the heart, Samastiti. Observe how you feel. <clears throat> We're gonna start bending the legs again. Bring the arms in front of you and we're gonna slowly bending the knees slowly kind of coming into the chair pose but then we continue until we're gonna sit down onto the floor so sit down on the floor extend both legs come into straight position observe how you feel if your hamstrings are quite uh, tight you might prefer to have your knees tiny bit bent just make sure that you're not rounding the spine okay so you have a straight spine one more breath and then we're gonna bend into the left knee 
bring the sole of the foot uh, into your inner thigh. Look towards that right leg and then slowly bend forward. Don't pull yourself towards the leg. Remember, we're trying to just slowly relax on the leg. So the, the belly relaxes over, over the thigh. Then the chest may be towards your knee, more or less. And then the leg is, uh, sorry, the head is last towards the shin. But important to let your body to relax into the pose. If we start pushing and stressing the body out, it actually will contract more and you will go not as deep into the pose. So it's very important to just let the gravity do its job. Two more breaths here. Then slowly lift yourself up. Bring that knee in. <clears throat> and then bring the leg across. So the leg, the left foot is on another side of the right leg. Hug that uh, right leg into your chest and start twisting towards the left side. You should feel a little bit of stretch in the hip, in the glute area. Make sure you, again, you're not collapsing into the shoulder so neck is long. One more breath here. That straight leg is still active, so maybe even flex the toes towards you. And then slowly come back and cross the leg and extend it. Again, coming back to neutral position, neutral spine. When you're ready, start bending into the right knee this time, bringing that sole of the foot into your left inner thigh, looking towards the left leg, and then slowly relaxing over that leg. So we slowly moving towards the leg. Inhales and exhales should be deep and slow. That helps as well to relax the body. And let's sink a little bit deeper into the pose. Couple more breaths here. You can always close the eyes. That helps relaxation as well. Then gently lift yourself up without rush. <clears throat> Bring that knee in and bring the leg across. So the right leg now is outside the left leg. Hug the leg in and twist towards the right side this time. Making sure the spine is straight, so we're not trying to really cram into the pose. Everything what you do in yoga, you're looking the best way to come into the pose. We have different bodies, different structures, different, different bones. So it's very important to find your way to come into the posture and stay there. Be gentle, observe how it feels. Remember that extended leg, left leg is semi-active, so you can always flex the toes towards you. And then coming back to the center, extending both legs again. And this time we're gonna fall over those legs. So again, as I mentioned, don't try to grab the feet and push yourself in. Just let the arms rest wherever it's comfortable, either shins, you know, ankles, a mat, and just relax it here. Remember, if it's morning, you might won't be as flexible. If it's evening, you might go deeper. If you run, you might not be as flexible. You know, so it really depends of the time of the day, what you've done it before. So as always, don't judge, just enjoy the flow. Two more breaths here. And then we're gonna slowly lift ourselves up and we're gonna lay down on the floor. So lay down, keep your knees bent, 
relax. First, just relax here. Let your back sink into the floor, so even the lower spine is relaxed. With the next inhale, we're gonna engage our legs as well as our arms, and we're gonna start lifting the glutes up. So pushing through the heels, pushing through those arms, elbows, lifting up. Don't lift too high, we're gonna have two more chances, so just lift into comfortable position. Make sure that those knees are not spreading out wide. The knees should be in line with your hip bones, so those sticky bones in the front of your body. One more breath here. And then slowly release it down. The same way we came, so first middle body, lower body, and the glutes come last. Bring the soles of the foot together. Open the knees wide, relax into cob cobbler's pose. Keep breathing. One more breath here. Then start bringing the legs in again. Bringing the feet hip distance apart. Engage the legs, the arms, push through those heels, lift a little bit higher maybe. You even can bring the shoulders underneath your chest and maybe interlace the palms. Keep breathing, checking in with those knees that they're not spreading wide. Keep pushing through those heels. Chin should be still quite far away from the chest, so make sure you have enough space for breathing. And then release your palms if you had it, them interlaced, and then slowly release it down. This time we're going to bring the feet as wide as the mat or maybe even wider. And we're going to bring the knees into each other. And just relax here. One more breath. We're going to bring the legs again in. Remember, hip distance apart. If you're familiar with the wheel, you can come into a wheel if you feel comfortable. For others, again, lifting yourself up. And what we're going to try and do, we're going to bend into the elbows and bring the palms to the sides of our hips, okay? And just relax here. So a little bit more restorative, but still quite high lift, okay? If that's too much, you can always bring the blocks underneath your hips and just stay on the blocks or the books, okay? Two more breaths, wherever you are. One more. And then we're gonna slowly release it down. Take your time, release it down. Let the lower spine to relax. And then bring the knees in to your chest and hug them. You can even roll from side to side if you wish. Excellent. <clears throat> what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna shift the hips tiny bit towards the left side and release the knees towards the right, coming into last posture. Supine twist. Make sure the chest is still facing uh, up. Keep breathing. You can close your eyes now. We're just gonna go twisting towards another side and then we're gonna come into Shavasana. When you're ready, engage abdominals, lift the knees back to the center, then shift the hips a tiny bit towards the right and release the knees towards the left side. The chest is still facing up. Both shoulders touching the ground. Two deep inhales and exhales here. Last one. Two 
Engage abdominals, lift the knees back to the center. And we're gonna start extending the legs out and relaxing on the floor. Coming into Shavasana position, corpse pose. So bring the legs as wide as you can, as wide as it's comfortable. Palms facing towards the ceiling or the sky as well, quite far away from your body. You can fidget and move as much as you wish before you actually relax into the, flo into the floor, into the position. Make sure to find very comfortable pose as well so you can stay here a little bit longer and let your body to digest the benefits of this practice. I'm gonna take three deep inhales and exhales with you before leaving you in Shavasana. What we're gonna do, we're gonna inhale through the nose and we're gonna exhale out loud through the mouth, trying to take out the last tension from our body. So really relaxing the body fully. So when you're ready, inhale through the nose. And then exhale out loud through the mouth. Twice more, don't be shy, it's a really nice sensation. One more time. Exhale all your worries. And relax in Shavasana. Please stay here as long as you wish. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope to see you soon on my channel. Namaste.